Secret Agent K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries, on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. And here is K-7. Ladies and gentlemen, with the huge defensive plans of the great nations getting into stride, spies have been sent into many countries with orders to secure the location, nature, and efficiency of air defenses. This is easily explained. Modern warfare depends much on the element of surprise. If an attacking nation could know her foe's air defense, it would be possible to strike with a surprise attack that would even end a war before the enemy could strike a blow. Such is the background of my story. Here is John Holbrook. Thank you, K-7. Recently, Special Agent Z was called upon by the authorities of a nation whose air defense plans had been mysteriously stolen. Our story begins as Agent Z and his assistant, Patricia Norwood, discuss the case. Pat, this begins to look like a difficult assignment. The man or woman who stole the air defense plans is clever. Have you made any headway, Z? Oh, not much, I'm afraid. I've talked to a great many officials today. One copy of the air defense plans has disappeared. No one knows from whom it was stolen. But I should think it would be easy to trace. Well, it would be under ordinary conditions, but someone is covering up. The men who handle the plans are all high officials. Most of them have assistants and secretaries. The plans were all kept in one safe. Naturally, when one set disappears, each person involved is sure that he and his staff is free from blame. But there must be some... What's the matter, Pat? Z. Yes? Z were being watched. You sure? Positive. There's a man at the other end of the room. I saw him when you gave me my instructions this morning. When I went to the war office to meet you, I saw him there. And now he's here. The one reading the newspaper? Yes. He was watching us over at the top a minute ago. Well, then, Pat, I've got a plan. Perhaps we can make him give us our first lead. How? Now, listen. I want you to do just as I tell you. In a minute, we'll get up and walk toward him. When we get to where he can hear us, I want you to tell me that you're not satisfied, that you can make more money operating alone. Do you mean you want me to quit? That's exactly what I want you to do, Pat. I'll leave you and tell you that you'll have to make up your mind. As soon as I've gone, sit down at the writing desk and write a note to me telling me that we're through working together. Z, what are you driving at? I want that man to see the note. So when it's written, spill some ink on it. Then throw it in the wastebasket and write another. Call a boy and send it to me. Do you think he'll pick the first note out of the basket? Yeah, he will if he's following us. And as soon as the boy is on his way to me with the second note, go to your rooms and wait. You'll probably get a message. And you? I'll do the same thing. And Pat, one thing. If nothing happens, I'll call you tomorrow. But no matter what reaction you get, keep me informed. All right, Z. Do whatever you're asked to do, but be sure that I know about it. I'll take care of the rest. You see, Pat, I think I've got the answer to this case. And if I'm right, at least one high official... Well, I won't go into that now. You ready? Yes. Then we'll walk toward him. Start arguing. All right. I'm sorry, but I'm going to leave you. Well, you can't. If you think I should pay you more... That's one of the reasons. But you can't pay me enough. I can make as much money as you do working by myself. That's the way I'm going to work from now on. Well, think about it. I'm going to my hotel. As soon as you've made up your mind, drop me a note. I have made up my mind. I'm leaving well, you. Well, write me a note. You're angry now. You may change your mind the next hour. I'll be at my hotel if you do. <laughs> so he wants a note. All right, he'll get one. Boy, bring me some paper. <laughs> Now, 
Pat followed Z's instructions. She wrote one note, crushed it, and threw it into the waste paper basket. Then she wrote a second and sent it to Z. As soon as she left the writing desk, the man she suspected picked the first note from the basket and left the hotel. A few minutes later, he called at a large apartment in another part of the city. Why have you come here? I told you to telephone. It is dangerous. Close the door. This is important. Special Agent Z and his assistant have separated. What do you mean? This note. Look at it. I heard them arguing. Then he left. A minute later, she wrote this. It brought it and she had to do it over again. Read it. Agent Z has made up my mind. I'm going to look for my own assignment from now on. I can make more money working alone. There is no use of us discussing further. It's signed Patricia Norwood. You're sure this is not a trick? Oh, the girl was angry. I could tell. Then perhaps we can use her. Yes, I'm sure we can. I'll write a note asking her to come here. Well, what is your plan? Listen, I'll hire her and get her to drive my car across the border tonight. She will carry the air defense plans. Is it safe? Let me finish. The plans will be placed in the car's upholstery. As soon as she's in her car, I will notify the general. He will have her arrested. Arrested? But what will that give? Don't you understand? They will have their plans back, but I will have my copies. As soon as she's arrested, I can come and go as I like. I will deliver my duplicate plans. But she will say that you hired her. <laughs> and you think the general will believe? Not when I tell him that she's only trying to blame me. The plan is perfect. The general will get his original plans, which I stole from him. That's all he wants. We'll have the copies. That is good. Then we must act. <laughs> Later, Pat talked with the woman spy, Zola Ventura. I've been in many countries, my dear. I know many people. Uh, one of them, whose uh, name I can't mention, uh, told me of the work you and Special Agent Z did for him. I saw you at your hotel this afternoon. That's why I've sent for you. Well, what do you want me to do? It is a delicate mission. You will have to work with me alone. Will your friend Agent Z allow that? I am no longer connected with Agent Z. Oh, I see. Hmm, that's interesting. I will tell you what I want you to do. We must cross the border, you and I. Uh, tomorrow we will meet my uncle. He's important. Oh, he's not in this country. No, but it's not far. Tomorrow we'll get to him. He'll tell us what we're to do. It is a delicate mission. Uh, are you willing to attempt it? It will pay well. Then I'll take it. Good. Uh, you can drive an automobile. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, then here is my plan. Uh, we need my car, but uh, uh, tonight I must go to a diplomatic dinner. You take my car and uh, drive across the border. After my dinner, I will take a plane. Tomorrow, we will meet at my uncle's. Is it arranged? You want me to drive your car? Yes. I wouldn't have time myself. Will you do it? The plan seems all right to me. Good. Then go to your hotel and pack. My car will be delivered to you. Miss Norwood, I'm so glad to have found you. Together we will be successful. Goodbye, my dear. I'll meet you tomorrow. Three hours later, Pat was on her way, driving a long black roadster that had been provided for her. As soon as Zola Venturbo was sure her plan was working, she telephoned the high-ranking military official. Zola, is that you? Yes, General. I have some information for you. I told you I would help you. You, Zola, could not let you down. You have heard more? Yes. This afternoon. I told you that I had seen a woman whom I knew as, as a spy. You have seen her again? A few minutes ago. I followed her for you. She rented a car and is driving across the border. She has the plans with her. I saw her slip them behind the seat cushions, have her arrested and searched at the border. Several hours passed. At midnight, Z received a visitor in his room. General, 
I'm surprised to see you at this hour. Come in. I came to tell you that we have recovered the air defense plans. Oh, they've been returned? The spy who st stole them has been caught. She was trying to leave the country. We arrested her at the border. Well, then I guess you won't need me anymore. Oh, by the way, what was her name? She was your assistant, Patricia Norwood. Oh, you must be mistaken. Oh, we know the whole story, Z. Somehow, she stole the plans. Then she told you she was going to work alone. We even have a note to you. You seem to have a complete case against her, General. However, I doubt that you know the whole story. What do you mean? Oh, wait. Perhaps this is the call I've been waiting for. If it is, I'll explain fully. Hello? Yes, this is Agency. Good. Bring her up here. The general is with me. Who was that? A man from military intelligence, General. He's bringing the real spy here. Miss Norwood here? Not Miss Norwood. Your fiancé, Zola Venterva. What are you saying, sir? I'm telling you that you've been a fool, General. Zola Venterva was the one who took your plans. What? She took them and made copies. Then she arranged Miss Norwood's arrest, knowing that as soon as you had your precious plans back, there would be no further search. She was going to carry them out of the country when you and she went on your honeymoon. Why, you were actually going to be used to deliver your own plans to your enemies. It's a lie. Here is Miss Venter. Ask her, General. Zola, this man accuses you of... It is... It is true. Here are your plans, General. Zola, do you know what this means? Well, what's the matter? Goodbye, General. I've, I've taken what I carried in this silver box. It, it's easier than the firing squad. Catch her, she's falling! Well, perhaps it's for the best, General. You have your plans. There will be no trial. Those who believe in you will never know what a fool you've been. Such stories of intrigue are not unusual. Neither are such attempts to steal important military and naval plans. Zola Venterva was a modern Matahara who failed. Listen for my next story. This is K7 speaking.